Is there oil? No oil in this one, right? No, because um, you're not frying anything. Okay. Okay, you're not, like, you don't have to cook anything. Everything you put in here is already uh, cooked. Okay. And that's always, you know, you, um, that's important to know that. Okay. So here we have our fantastic rye and whole wheat. I put a little whole wheat, whole rye um, with my bread spice. Bake this bread, but use whatever you have. Um, just quickly, bread spice uh, is fennel, coriander, and definitely caraway seed. And you grind it in a spice grinder or in a coffee grinder. And you add it when you bake your bread. Very important for rye to have caraway seed in it for digestion. And here, as you know, the Reuben sandwich is usually made with Montreal smoked beef or with um, corn beef or um, there's one more. Can't think of it right now. Pastrami. Pastrami, yeah. Yeah. So, but, you know, somebody came up with that recipe and yeah. it's fine, it's yeah. their recipe. Yeah. I take their idea and yeah. I use my own stuff with it, which is fine, right? Um, so this is called the... So I like um, a Canadian maple, maple ham, mm -hmm. a spice with maple and honey, which is very Canadian or U.S wherever the maple syrup comes from, right? Mm. And we're just trying to give it a little, just a little uh, warm up so we don't have to cook that much, right? Put a little garlic butter, garlic butter in it makes it really nice and gives the ham a little crispness, uh, crispness, not much. This will we'll turn over and turn over Turn over and turn over. And now we can mayonnaise, mayonnaise, okay. and definitely a little bit of mustard. This here is that. my favorite Austrian mustard, comes Mount Namaku. Yeah. <clears throat> I ordered it online. It's a tarragon mustard, it's called okay. Estragon tarragon. Yeah. But, you know, use whatever mustard you like to use for this. Yeah. Okay. And so, here. Yeah, I put some ham on here. Fantastic ham. And be generous. Right? Mm -hmm. your ham. And use whatever meat you like, okay? Yeah. Something hammy is a good idea. You know, you don't want to use salami or anything. It gets too strong when you heat it up. Okay. And because the salt content is so high, so... See, I'm very generous. Then we'll put some cheese, and I like gouda. But you can use butter cheese, you can use uh, cheddar, you know, whatever you like. One by the way in here. Okay. And then we have our fantastic sauerkraut here. Yeah. On top, right? And we put that last and on top mm -hmm. because we do not want to cook this or heat it up too much mm -hmm. because we don't want to lose the medicinal properties of the sauerkraut. And never throw out the water. Drink it yourself, okay? okay. Very healing, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's where the vitamin C is, see? Now I go like yeah. this. Oops, I forgot something. If you have, if you like, put some mild onions on top. Amazing. Nice crunch. Okay? And just press it down a little bit. And you may want to 
turn it over because the bottom Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at this. Mm -hmm. How that wonderful is, is this? I press it down just a little bit just to heat it through, right? Okay. But not too much. So, and here we are. Goes on to our serving board. And this is totally amazing. We have some wonderful tomatoes, but by all means, use some pickles or use whatever is in season and put it on top. And here is your, your wonderful tray of quick, 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 right? And this is Reuben sandwich. Amazing with, yeah. food. Quickly done, yeah. five minutes, yeah. right? And you have to eat something really good. Okay, right? very nice. Okay.